Tom here from Lawrence Systems and FreeNAS 11.3U1, the first update in FreeNAS has been released and I figured, well, let's talk about that. I have a couple little things I found. So if you wanna learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire share a project, there's a hire button up at the top. If you wanna support the channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you discounts and deals and services that we have to offer or the other companies have to offer. Lots of discounts and deals. Anyways, that helps us out with those affiliate links. Uh, FreeNAS. So 11.3 came out and not too long after we have 11.3 U1. And the major thing, of course, uh, security is of the utmost concern. So there is a CVE uh, 2019-14907 um, that has been addressed in this. So if you care about this or this problem affects you, if Samba is set with the log level three or above, then the string obtained from the client after a failed character conversion is printed. Such strings can be provided during NTLSP authentication if the Samba ADDC in particular, this may cause a long-lived process such as an RPC or terminate in the file server. Most likely target operates per process client, so a crash there is harmless, but it so crashes. And this is a problem. Do not set log level three in production was the workaround. Um, these are probably not things you worry about, but I like to mention that they did get patched. What they did do was a lot of little bug fixes here. And it's all mostly minor, little VM net error on certain settings. It won't unlock with just a recovery key. Um, I'm trying to unlock a pool with the pass trace. I had previously made a recovery key to confirm that both pass phrase and recovery key, re I'm testing the ability to unlock the pool in both pass phrase and recovery key. And you get this. Um, I actually had tested this and it looked like you could drop the files in manually and work, but it wasn't working through the UI. So this, like I said, there's a lot of little bugs that got fixed on here. But the ones that I'm seeing, and I've seen people talking about this, was this is my free NAS here at the office. It's running 11.3 U1, completely up to date. And we're going to go over to the jails. And the jails had no problem, as you can see here, going to 11.3 P6. And then we have my free NAS mini 3.0 E at home, purple NAS.local, and it's also same version, but the jails. The only jail that updated, and this didn't update because the system updated, was this one. It would give a weird error every time you try to update. It would just give me a the letter B. Um, and I believe I still get that on these if I try to manually update them. So I'm gonna do some work to reproduce the error and probably file a bug report or try to dig in further. Now it did update from the command line and I gonna get deeper into this in a video, but you can update your IO cage by going update. Well, first you have to fetch and I did fetch the latest 11.3 release, which is the latest um, update for there. So if we go IO cage fetch, it will grab the latest release, it'll pull it, and you can do a dash R for upgrade um, to be able to push the upgrade to one of the jails. And I thought that was interesting that I had to do it on one, but not the other. One updated fine and the other didn't. I didn't have any error message when I updated, and I do see other people talking about that. Now, I'm not gonna dive too deep into that topic right this moment, but I will admit that this was something of note that I ran into when doing the update. Um, other than that, everything else with the system seems to be perfectly fine. And all the other, when you dig through some of the uh, around data changes and improvements. It's all really mostly all minor stuff on here. Create local users on TrueNAS Alpha 2, fixed little typos and dialogues that kept opening and things like that. And there was an error apparently in the way it was creating the iSCSI. So that was also part of the problem and the ability to get statuses of the drives if they were resilvering. I never have any drives go bad from when I loaded 11.3, even the beta, all the way till now. I still, all my drives are perfectly fine. So I haven't done any of the drive replacement, but they have fixed a bug that was causing that. So my overall, I'd still say to load it. Um, but if you are running, Running into that issue, do look up how to manually update jails. Currently, I do not have a video on how to do that yet. I'm working on, um, I want to do an entire series on IO cage and kind of getting into the nitty gritty of it. I did one on VLANs and apparently they did fix uh, a bug, which I didn't see when I was doing my VLAN video, but I guess there are certain circumstances. And I think someone had commented on that particular YouTube video uh, of that. Oh, if they selected one VLAN, it would select another one. And there's a fix for that in 11.3. So I don't really have any reasons not to load 11.3 U1, but I did note that, and obviously it, the the uh, jail updates, I don't always pay attention to them as, as, as much like at my home because I'm not running that much in the jails. And if it's it's a version behind, it's not a big deal because none of it's publicly exposed. It's just running my Plex server. Um, but apparently there are some people having some update issues with it. My one where I do run things in my business at home where I uh, focus more on that, it updated fine. So the ones that 
the office had no problems, no errors updated. And it's only the ones that, well, the one server I have at home, the one FreeNAS Mini that had the update for the jail. Other than that, everything else seems to be working fine. I loaded it um, several days ago when it came out. I got right on and updated it and wanted to let it run for a while and I haven't found any ill effects from it, which I think is what a lot of people ask, is, is there any problems you experienced? No, the services I use, uh, we still watch stuff on Plex. The transmission still works. My uh, one uh, plug-in that is the jail I have, I never go back over to jails real quick, my Alcatraz jail, which is my one little home server, uh, that works perfectly fine. I use that sometimes when I need a different perspective to SSH into something at home, uh, just for random personal projects. But all these things, sync thing included, all work fine. Now granted, they're still running the old release, but they didn't break. I also uh, have the sync thing jail set up manually, so I'm running it uh, not as a plugin, but as a matter of fact, when you run these, if you build them manually, and this is what I'm gonna be working on a video on, um, I don't rely on the updates from IAC systems. I can actually update sync thing manually by creating a manual jail to run it in. So that's why it's a little bit less concerning because the sync thing is something I care about a lot. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a new video on that as well because it has definitely improved a lot. They've had a lot of features over time, but it doesn't seem to have any problem running in a slightly older release of the jail, but I'm gonna manually update these. Um, I was hoping when they first came out, cause I did see that the update didn't happen a couple days ago. I thought maybe I'll just try and run the update again or try to run the actual uh, function update and it, it just kinda doesn't do. So if we go over here and we'll try it right now to show you uh, the error message I get. So if we go over here to update, it does say updating jail, but it doesn't necessarily update it. It matter of fact, it keeps pulling the same older release instead of the new release. And right there's the error. Branch 11.3 release does not exist, but it actually does exist and I downloaded it. So if you can see that error message I'm getting right there, like I said, I'm still digging into that. But my overall with it, uh, it works great. I haven't had any problems with this minor exception, but updating from the command line seems to kind of um, get around that without a problem as far as the update. So I just have to change the release on there. But it, I'll be doing some further uh, updates and videos on this. By the way, this Mini E does work great, but uh, one thing of note, it is a lot slower compared to running it on my other server, which is a lot faster. Sync thing updated, and if we refresh the page, you'll still see it's running the old release. So there we have it, still running the old release. <laughs> Um, it just doesn't do it. And I've done it here and done it with the uh, plugin part. So maybe I'll work on a bug report with that and uh, see what needs to be done. But yeah, it's uh, other than that error, I've, I've kind of minor, but definitely something to think about. But I'll be doing some videos on how to manually build the jails, uh, how to manually update some of the things and uh, in some future upcoming projects I have with FreeNAS and IO Cage. But just, there's a lot of documentation on how to do it out there. I just haven't done a tutorial on it. So you can already read the documentation and learn how to do it if you want. But uh, tutorials help a lot of people, which I believe is kind of popular with this channel. All right, and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.